She's a beaut. Ooh, look at that, flew right out of the truck. Easy. What's up guys, I'm Daniel Riley, and this is the most beautiful aerodynamic marvel you've ever seen in your life. You might remember about two years ago, I made a video of this thing flying and actually dropping watermelons onto the field. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Let's try a little bit of this. That is a crater. And I was joking about it being an aerodynamic marvel, but it actually flies really well. So today we're gonna try something new and put Ardu Pilot in it um, on a Pixhawk flight controller and see if we can get it to fly a waypoint mission. So I forgot to get shots of the autopilot installed, but this is all there is to it. It's just a Pixhawk 4 with a HERE2 GPS, a little power module for voltage telemetry, and then I was also using two RFD900X telemetry radios for communications with the computer. The plane has four big drone motors with 18 inch props, 40 amp speed controllers, and a 10 amp hour six cell battery. So we have not flown this with RDU Pilot yet. What we're gonna do for the first flight is put it in auto tune mode and give some step inputs and let the flight controller tune itself. And Zach over here will be the pilot in command. This should be just a short little flight to get things dialed in. And then if that works well, we will chase it with the multi rotors. Let's do this. Does it feel just as good as it used to? Oh yeah, man, this thing's awesome. But yeah, you're doing great, just a bunch of step inputs. I, I think this plane is just so big and reactive though that the stock PID values in RD Pilot are probably gonna work fine. And you, how many like jabs or inputs per? 20, roughly. Okay. Let me write these settings. Beautiful, awesome. <laughs> beautiful. And now it's an autonomous drone. Compass cow with this is not exactly easy. It's arm day. Yeah. So yeah, we just put it in return to home mode and that worked great. Um, so that means it should be able to fly a waypoint mission, no problem. So we're gonna try that now. Yeah. Zach's gonna be flying the Mavic there, and I'm flying the Nazgul over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna start autonomous mode now. I think it's it's working. It says current waypoint number one. Uh, let's see, it's going to not take 50 this off meters. Until we know that it's like good though. Yeah. Okay, the power came back up, that's good. Okay, so let's see if it hits waypoint two and then turns. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty please, far away. Please turn, that is so sketchy. Let's see, it's going to turn right now, just about. Yes. Yep. yes. Okay, that's awesome. It looks pretty close to those trees, but I think it's just because the plane is so big that we don't realize how high it actually is. Oh, it's so easy to see this thing in the sky. Oh God, you are right near me, shit. How about I take the right side? This is so awesome. <laughs> it's like a flying fortress. The B69 out of 420. Oh, there it is turning. <laughs> that turn kind of caught me off guard. It almost flew into me. I have almost hit the tail so many times. <laughs> I'm gonna check on the voltage for the big plane. Okay. We're at 22.6, so I think I've got enough for another flight with this guy. We got some gooses inbound, got a bogey. This thing is so majestic. Oh, I can see the body flex and wiggle oh, in, the, in the turbulence. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, I got hit. Oh, I'm down. Oh, no. Still flying. Good, good. Yeah, no, you didn't, you didn't do anything bad. To oh, it. I think I hit the motor though. Ooh, damn. I think I crashed into the motor of the big plane. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe it's still up. Wow, I need to go find my drone. The rover's moving. It just woke up for the day. That's great. Okay, well, you want to bring the Mavic back and then land the big plane? Okay. Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Have you ever wanted to make your electronics projects look more professional? Check out this custom PCB assembly I had made for an upcoming electronics project I'm working on. It's made through PCBWay's assembly service. So I just sent them the bill of materials and Gerber files, and they do everything else. Have you ever wanted to get into designing your own PCBs? If so, check them out at PCBWay.com. We've got the Mavic returning autonomously. We've got the Putin plane returning manually. <laughs> Everyone's coming back. Except for one. Except for mine. <laughs> Beautiful. And here comes the Mavic. Get out of my way. I told Zach, this will be quick. I'm a pro at finding drones, but I might have just jinxed myself. Oh, I hear the beeping. Oh, oh it's stuck in the ground. I broke my frame. That's the worst. That's a bummer, but at least I got it back. Woo, that was snappy. I broke an arm, but the GoPro video is intact, so that's all that matters. Woo, it's a new day. We've got the Putin plane here, we've got a Hobby Zone Aero Scout there, and a Mavic there, and we're gonna get all three of these in the air and fly some formations. And there's a small animal cruising around as well. Now we're gonna use this thing as a glider tow plane. Um, we've got this string on it here that goes all the way back to the multiplex Calaris. And we're gonna hopefully tow it up into the air and then release the glider. The planes will separate and land. Okay, we're still up here. Lots of thermals. I can come down if I want, and I kind of do because I want to get another tow in.
Nicely done. Dog and arm flying concept. It's a little bit more soothing, especially with the uh, stress that thermals induce. So. This самолёт сделан потому что Путин мог оперативно быть президент России и мы очень мы очень рады мы очень рад с этим поэтому это почему мы сделали самолёт. Привет Россия. So the Putin plane lives on. Those were some great flights. Maybe we'll try it out again in another two years. Bye.